It's no accident. You're listening to the One Cell One Light Radio Network featuring Dr. Hildegard Steniger. Join Dr. Hilde as she and her guests discuss a blend of art, science, and medicine. All coming up on the Dr. Hilde Show. And it all starts right now. Here's Dr. Hilde. Well, our show last week was so informative with my guest uh, that I asked them if their schedule permitted, that if uh, Mr. Robbie Besner would be able to join us. Uh, the CEO of Therisage, because I did not want to leave not only my audience, but my guests just hanging there, because it was a very good educational and informative discussion on radiant heat, far infrared, infrared, and the whole use of uh, minerals within uh, some of their new products that are coming out. Thank you very much for being able to be on the show uh, with me again, uh, Robbie. Thanks. Thank you for having me, Dr. Hilde. Uh, I had so much fun last week, and I couldn't believe how fast the time went. And then there's this music at the end, and all of a sudden I'm looking down, I'm going, oh, my God, there's just so much more to talk about, isn't there? Yes, there is so much to talk about uh, for all of us. Wow. You know, so I, maybe maybe we could do a little quick review for Oh, I'd appreciate guests. that. Go ahead. Yeah. And... Um, some of the things we touched upon last week, um, first of all, there was a little bit of a story about how I happened on Far Infrared, and it had, a, it had to do with my daughter and um, her um, contracting Lyme disease approximately 12-plus years ago. And my wife and I being naturopaths and looking for an alternative way to try to help her try to get uh, to detox, to get... Uh, detoxify, get a lot of the uh, poisons, the neurotoxins, the side effects of some of the medications that she was trying to try to get uh, her Lyme condition under control. To At some point, as many um, people with chronic ailments experience, that they suffer more from high toxic levels of their blood and their bodies than sometimes the underlying disease itself, which was the case for my daughter. So... Um, in doing research, we came upon um, this far infrared frequency being a, a natural event. It's a form of sun frequency. Uh, it's all around us. It's been well studied uh, and documented for many years by very famous scientists and clinicians. Um, and uh, we started to look further into it and discovered that this would be a great approach for us to um, to look to try to help Julia with uh, with her her condition. Um, so in the process of developing uh, and finding um, products for her, we noticed that there really weren't very many available for the general public, and um, so we started to uh, develop products for my daughter's application and then um, realized that this was really uh, a calling. It was something that needed to be brought to the general mainstream marketplace, to the general public, um, it's affordable technology. Uh, it really works. It's natural healing um, on many levels. And uh, it just turned out to be uh, gather a lot of momentum, sort of a divine design, if, 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 I, if I might say. Um, and it was, it's worked out great for, for, uh, for us, uh, and Dr. Hilde. Uh, and I know it, it's so beneficial for uh, increasing that energy, meaning that uh, life force within the body and allowing the toxins to release. Uh, I went to a recent um, educational seminar that was put on by uh, GE Health uh, Life Systems, and what was interesting about it that they brought out that in um, preventive toxicology that they're seeing now that 40% of, of the symptom, excuse me, 40% of the toxin is the residue within the body and thus allowing more of the symptoms. And if you don't uh, get rid of the toxic load, whether it's from the disease like in Lyme and what it can create, the endotoxins, the exotoxins from the spirochete as a bacteria, or if it's uh, the medications that you might be on, or the materials that it can't process, uh, even with our, our supplements. It needs to be open and 
far infrared, you know, infrared heat is wonderful in opening you up so that you can expel these toxins that build up just like uh, if we were icing a cake and putting icing on it, we're trying to get rid of the icing. Wow. And, you know, your body, um, as you get more toxic, your body becomes more or less and less efficient in just its normal functions. And that really allows your immune system to start to get um, suppressed, and that really gives an advantage to pathogens or any kinds of um, microbes or bacteria, infections, um, viruses, to take advantage of the body's um, um, weaknesses at that point. So Mm -hmm. um, getting getting a good, efficient way, um, natural way to help the body detox is uh, such an important thing um, for us. And, you know, here we're talking about someone with a, with a chronic condition, but we all suffer or worry, uh, should worry more about the, the environment becoming so toxic with um, air pollutants and water, water uh, pollutants and various different chemicals that get into the water systems. And then, of course, um, the air uh, and water influencing the soils and many of the even, you know, uh, the cleanest vegetables and, and organic um, foods that we eat these days are still somewhat influenced by the environment. So ultimately that comes into the body and it adds to these toxic uh, conditions that we all, we all are faced with these days. Right, and I want to add to that that um, many, you know, we look at air pollution and we look at particle counts that may be regulated by our EPA and other uh, agencies, but they measure at a certain particle size. If that particle size is less or larger than that particle size, the data is not reported. It's just like thrown out. So it's only within a certain range what is that particle size. And we have found in science that the smaller the particle, the more ability that it can get into your lungs, your upper bronchial area, and cause uh, calcifications or nodules to form as a result of your immune system not responding properly because, as we shared in our last show, it's getting the wrong signal. But with uh, infrared, you do allow your body to cleanse so you can get the right signal. And I know myself, uh, I had early on um, individuals that went to our uh, various centers that we had uh, occurring at that time that uh, as they were getting cleaner with the uh, radiant heat, what happened is they had a intense viral load where they would the the chicken pox would come out exactly where it lodged in the abdomen area, in the intestinal colon, or in the um, spinal cord, and uh, and it would bring it out, but uh, it can be painful. It, it brought out blisters uh, during that uh, stage, but it uh, allowed to um, detoxify that viral load faster. Wow. You know, um, what we discovered, and I think we mentioned this last week, is that many of these toxins, they bind with the fat molecules. And um, one of the things that, because of the various different charges and the covalent bond between the fat and the, um, the acidic toxin, mm-hmm. um, infrared frequency will actually cause that, that um, bond to break, allowing the toxin to be freed up then to be expelled um, by the body somehow, sweating it out or... Um, maybe some of the organs like your colon or your kidney, pancreas, um, will work to filter filter yeah. these. The, um, these the fastest with toxins. the least resistance. Excuse me for speaking over you, but uh, it's with the, it expels it the fastest and the where there's the least resistance. Right. So so um, ultimately, what happens is we get a clean detox in separating these toxins out. And the toxin being um, slightly on the acidic side then um, channels the body to be have a, a more positive pH or a- actually be more alkaline, which helps the overall condition for um, keeping the immune system strong. And, you know, as you mentioned last week, many systemic diseases, they thrive in these acidic environments. So if we can drive the body towards being more alkaline, that, again, um, is a great uh, health attribute. 
Right, and each organ system, there's approximately 13 organ systems within the body. Each organ system has that balance of being uh, negative or ascetic because it has a function within it, but as these chemicals accumulate or the, the bacterias or, or even the viruses, and the v- unique thing with vi- virus is that um, it's like half of our DNA, and it's um, it's... It allows itself to go into our cells and mix with our DNA and create the the virus, the chicken pox, the measles, or whatever it may be uh, doing in that situation. Because we are the host. Our cells are the host. And that's how we get our natural immunity from it if we've ever survived the exposure just as as with a, a toxin you'll you'll tolerate a certain level if you survive it the uh thing is though with those areas where these materials can lodge in just as you said with the fat they become more acidic because the body's trying to neutralize it trying to get it out but in that process you can create additional charges which is those electrophilic neutrophilic charges like as you explained with the covalent charge. And these, like I want to say a virus may be more negative charged than the fat molecule or vice versa so that then it absorbs and it's stuck there. And thus, as you change that charge, it can be released. And sometimes, though, like when you have exposure to, um, say you were getting a mercury filling or, or mercury exposure, you busted a mercury uh, thermometer and you're playing with it, as we did uh, as children. The the thing is that those vapors absorb uh, into your body and into your skin and the materials, and that area becomes more weakened because it has a charge. And all of these love to go, the ones with the charge love to go the end point, the nervous system. Just as we've seen with multiple sclerosis, there is a direct correlation between exposure to organophosphate pesticides, inhaling those vapors, uh, of those pesticides and affecting uh, the brain and the, uh, the nervous system uh, in the you know, front lobe area. Well, you know, um, in addition to that, um, these heavy metals, the mercuries, the leads, um, aside from chelation, either invasive using IV therapy or some chemical-based chelation, the far infrared frequency, particularly the far infrared sauna, and I'm hoping today we'll have a chance because I know yeah. last week we got we got jammed. But I want to talk in particular about how um, some of the protocols and how to use um, infrared frequency to help the body heal, um, as well as uh, highlight some of the products that my company has developed for basically home use, uh, home office use, maybe even at the workplace. Um, these products are very commonly uh, found in in your normal home now, currently now. Um, but what we did was we integrated the infrared frequency into these very easily understood uh, products like healing pads and office chairs and so forth, so that you would you would do what you normally do, live your normal lifestyle. But mm-hmm. but now with a flick of a button or just flicking, turning on a battery or some sort like that. You can now um, integrate this infrared frequency into the body. So while you're working, you're getting the benefit of of uh, the healing properties, and uh, and so forth. So it works out pretty pretty good. Right, and um, I I agree with you because when you even even if one is uh, if you didn't have the economics, uh, you know, to purchase a larger uh, product, but you at least could do a, a pad, you know, with the jade or, or any of the new perfect pad uh, shaw that you're, uh, you know, developed, uh, that um, you could continually treat yourself as you're sitting doing your work because. If you're in front of a computer all the time, and I know you're very keen on EMF monitoring, et cetera, and that buildup of uh, energy within the body that it's harmful, that you could be sitting at your workplace uh, treating yourself as you're sitting on the pad or having it behind your back that allows you to absorb the energy radiant heat, but at the same time allows your body to amplify so that then uh, you're not as affected of what you could be exposed to. Not only are you treating and detoxing, but you're getting uh, the benefit of it. 
Right. Imagine, you know, we're all into multitasking these days. And <laughs> yes, instead of you have just to be. multitasking at work, you can actually bring in a healing component to your multitasking. So while you're busy doing work, you, you know, seamlessly um, have the ability to bring this form of um, natural healing to the body. So, so as a company, we basically um, found uh, four main ingredients that we try to employ in each of our product applications. Um, of course, the pads are full-spectrum infrared, so it's covering the three um, various different frequencies of infrared, the near, the middle, and the far. Near being the frequency that would help um, skin repair, collagen um, uh, rebuilding, uh, help with wrinkles, help repair scar tissue. Um, even it's particularly great for um, for helping with uh, if you've got a fresh wound uh, because it'll elevate the temperature of the wound site and that will ward off um, most bacteria and viruses. Most of them can, can't um, aspire above 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And the the healing pads in particular, infrared frequency, can elevate um, your biothermal to as much as 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So it'll easily um, ward or pre prevent these um, bacteria from coming in at the very same time when it's applied uh, after, you know, after a surgery, not directly after surgery, but within a few days, maybe a week later. Um, you then can um, <clears throat> elevate the core temperature of the wound site um, again, the uh, invaders, those little buggers, won't be coming in. And at the same time, you're bringing, uh, you're increasing circulation. So you're bringing fresh blood, you're bringing all the nutrition, all the healing properties that you need to um, expedite the healing. So we found uh, amazing, great uh, applications for that. Um, the middle um, frequency goes, penetrates probably about an inch or so, depending on your, your various different uh, Everybody differs from person to person on their body mass. And the far frequency can penetrate between two to three inches in. So um, these are the far frequencies are very effective, particularly in the sauna, for um, helping the body detox from heavy metals, uh, which, you know, is in our daily life, as you said, it could be as simple as breaking a thermometer or maybe a, a dental um, a dental um, uh, amalgam that mm -hmm. is breaking down a little bit, causing some um, some of these metals to get into our bodies, or even in our food supplies. Uh, many of the fishes carry uh, these heavy metals that we ingest, and then we, we our body stores them. And there's no real efficient way to to pull these metals out, except for now we found it with this far infrared frequency. It's fantastic. So we mm -hmm. employ the the three different spectrums. We use natural. Uh, the natural energetics of various different gemstones, um, primarily jade stone, but this year we're introducing some other exotic stones like tourmaline and germanite. Um, we also work with rose granite. It's, these stones are just terrific, uh, great energetics, um, and they also um, generate negative ions that the body absorbs that also creates a balancing or earthing, grounding effect and as you mentioned earlier, we're really keen on this uh, on nullifying the effects of the EMF and the RF um, signals that are out there. And infrared um, frequency uh, the, on the detox side will help the body efficiently pull a lot of these um, frequencies out that, again, suppress the immune system. Right, right. And once that immune system is... Um, I want to say because it, it's it's based on our white blood cells and our uh, T cells and our B cells that as those cells are getting cleansed, you know, our blood recirculates, uh, excuse me, regenerates within our body within seven ten day, to ten days. So you have new oxygenation, new cleansing capabilities, so that it can cleanse out what the impurities are that are going to be dumping from those organs. So many individuals that uh, have asked me over the years, well. When, how long do I have to use or any of these equipments? And it's usually you use it for preventive health and uh, beauty treatments. But 
at the same time, uh, you get new blood within 7 to 10 days, and then new cell tissue of organs, uh, example like the heart and the lungs, that are rich in red and deep uh, brown colors, so that uh, that means that they have more mitochondria there, that it takes uh, from zero to three months to regenerate uh, the cells. So if you have something that is a toxin that is bound, uh, like Organophosphates, we know it goes after the, the malathions and that go after the fat, but it can go on to the nerve and cause neuralgia. Say you had a little virus there and you may be experiencing symptoms of tingling or down a nerve electricity. As you cleanse in that area with the infrared heat, what happens is layer upon layer of these toxins come out and then it's released, and then all of a sudden you feel like, oh, I have better motion. I can close my hand now uh, because the toxin's no longer there or the material that was depolarizing that nerve. You know, you're so right, and we get these um, these anecdotal comments from customers almost on a daily basis here. They call up and they thank us for the technology that we've developed, and sometimes what happens they start off with a protocol or they, a particular health um, goal in mind, like detox or maybe pain relief. And then um, they get some kind of result right away, pretty much within the first few days of using the products. Um, and then all of a sudden they start realizing that um, there's much more to this. And mm-hmm. even though they started with just looking to try to um, maybe uh, help themselves in one way, they get so many other collateral benefits that um, <laughs> we have customers that say, I, I can't travel without it. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm laughing because we have a, uh, a dear friend and compliance officer here at our company, and um, I was thinking about having him add another line to our user guide, warning, do not lend these products to your best friends or your relatives because you will not get them back. <laughs> that is so true. That is it, so true. It's really fantastic, really great like that. Yeah, and the the what I also want to add, and you probably experienced this with your clientele, is that one is as you clean up the muscles and the organs, because in that trunk of the organ, it, it, many people don't realize, okay, when you get exposed to lead, yes, it goes through the liver, it goes through the organs, and it can be there in the circulatory, but why it you have uh, wrist drop or uh, foot drop, meaning that it extends and just drops in space, is because the metals are being dumped from the main organs into the other extremities, arms and legs, so that it still has the function of the organs. And this is so true with virals and central nervous system toxins, especially the early pesticides and that and uh, solvents like paint solvents, uh, dry cleaning fluids, uh, uh, antifreeze, any of these things that you may have, as I call it, a whiff of gif sometime in your life, that they love to go to these fat areas, which is our spinal cord too. And uh, that can unlodge different um, vertebrae, you know, get it off center, and at the same time, the the spaces between the vertebrae uh, can accumulate uh, toxin, and as you get cleaner, meaning in the muscles and the organs, then the body will start lifting from the more dense areas, being the spinal cord, the bones. I've even had individuals uh, feel like they're Bones were growing when they were using it uh, because it was uh, allowing toxins to come out of um, the kneecap area where um, the bone marrow releases the red blood cells, uh, you know, into back into the circulatory system. Well, you know, it's just like you said the other day, like peeling an onion because you get one layer done and you discover another one underneath and, and it's sort of tuning up an orchestra. The body really wants to be... Um, healed, and it wants to be healthy. It just needs sometimes a little sort of jump start. And that's Mm -hmm. what we're discovering with this infrared frequency. Um, It helps in so many ways that it really helps the body tune up. And, uh, you know, once again, these products are easy easy to get. Um, They're they're affordable. 
and they're very easily to you know applied and um and used in in you know in in your home right and the the thing is that as you get cleaner uh, you will notice that then the the toxins will come out of the brain clearer brain etc but it's like your whole circuitry in your brain is functioning more properly and what i've uh i know we went into um and I shared on the last show of why um, women who use um, the radiant heat or the fire infrared, meaning in my experience, they would have a healthier baby, but it would be larger that there are more chances, like almost 99% of the chance that it would go cesarean. But those babies that were exposed to radiant heat, they could you know, have beautiful hair uh, on their head already and also hold their head up, their neck, uh, versus uh, a newborn that, you know, had a wobbly head, which is normal for a newborn. Sure, but they're so much stronger. They're stronger, you know, your comment, everything. Yeah, yeah, your comment earlier about the metals going to the extremities, you know, um, type 2 diabetics, um, people, you know, as you get older, just the forces of gravity, it's harder for the heart to pull the um, the circulation from the from your extremities. And one of the keen things about infrared, because it's creating that biothermal, um, it warms up the muscles and the tissues. That's where the frequency likes to um, concentrate itself. Uh, that thermal starts warming up your muscles, and, and, um, and then you get a vasodilation from that and also the natural production or release of nitric oxide. And mm-hmm. so that helps the circulation, particularly in the extremities. So we've had... Um, amazing um, discussions with customers that have gotten uh, benefits. Um, maybe they're borderline type 2 diabetic. Um, uh, they've got various different um, forms of neuropathy or, or um, uh, intense intensities of neuropathy, and they're getting their feeling back, their touch back. They're, they're, um, they're noticing that their extremities aren't cold anymore because they're getting more circulation um, simply by applying the uh, infrared heat in the right area. Um, it's very intuitive, uh, these applications, Dr. Hilde. Uh, you don't need to go to med school. You don't need to be a rocket scientist. It's more or less, you know, where you feel the pain, you put the the, uh, the healing pad to help uh, release the stress and the pain. So so um, so it's they're really easy to use. And, uh, again, um, basically, we and we touched on this um, last week, that there are virtually uh, very little, if none, of uh, the contraindicators that you may see with many other um, types of applications when you use this uh, this infrared technology. Right, and and just looking at that one is that technology. But if every one of us has seen a late night movie on TV, and if you just listen between who are the law firms representing class action cases, and at the same time, if you have this disorder, you know, take this medication, and then you listen to all the symptoms that they're saying, and you wonder, why would I take that to begin with, you know? Uh, it's it's very nice when you have a uh, product that um, reduces the risk of uh, any harmful effects uh, as, it he- as it allows the body to heal and uh, regenerate cellular activity and correct communication within the body. Really great. Um, there's uh, many of the uh, um, natural uh, doctors these days are considering the infrared spectrum to be the um, most beneficial spectrum of sun energy because um, the thermals warm up the earth. Um, Plants use the same frequencies in infrared to make their photosynthesis, which is their their main energy source. and as the freak, these frequencies come into the body, our bodies naturally, um, <clears throat> they harmonize with the water that's within us. And most of our bodies, most of the cell is uh, close to 90% water. The brain is maybe more than 80% water. If we're hydrated right, our, our bodies are, could be 70% plus water. Um, so the idea that the infrared frequency is influencing the the water in the body to create the um, energy, to create this biothermal, is very exciting. Um, 
there has been some research on on uh, water and hydration recently that suggests that the these this photo uh, effect, the light effect, this infrared frequency, also helps the body um, structure this water within. So with better order or better structured water, then um, we have better cellular communication. Um, so these things are all important for um, for our cells and our tissues to communicate properly with each other, um, and then of course do their normal thing of getting rid of their poisons and um, making sure that they're hydrated right and that the nutrition from cell to cell is um, is also really good. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that a treatment with infrared will last longer than the normal kinds of heat treatments that most um, of the viewership know. Uh, tactile heat, like a heating pad or an electric blanket, um, besides the fact that they generate those harmful EMF frequencies, those kinds of heats, they have to fight through that insulating layer of fat just under your skin in order for you to warm up your muscles. And when you take that heat source off, then basically the therapy goes away. With infrared um, frequency, because it's deep and it's penetrating, it'll store in that muscle and last sometimes as much as one and a half times longer than the treatment itself. So if you're using the heating pad or you're taking an infrared sauna treatment for an hour or so, that frequency, that energizing, that resonance is still active in your body for you know as much as an hour or so after that hour treatment, which is very substantial, particularly if you're suffering... Uh, from chronic uh, pain or if you're working really hard to get these poisons out, it's nice to know that this t kind of technology lasts longer than the treatment or your schedule can perm permit the, the treatment to last, you know? So that's right. great. And uh, I want to bring up, because um, I know we're going to go into the, the saunas and some of the other uh, products that uh, your company manufactures, but Speaking of these types of treatments, I know you have the, I'm going to call it the infrared belt in those wraps. I know with uh, one of your other modalities, which I've used over the years, over 33 years, 35 years now, um, using castor oil packs, I can see how a, um infrared belt would be so beneficial using a castor oil pack uh, not only for the back, but for the, the kidneys and the liver area. Yeah, that's one of my favorite um, forms of detox. And we, we can just get into that right now. I mean, it seems appropriate. The um, in Using an organic cast, this, that whole protocol um, for organ uh, cleansing has been used in Europe for many years, 75-plus um, years. And just recently, um, many of the... Uh, Practitioners here in the United States have been adopting this kind of treatment for uh, identifying and detoxing a particular organ like your liver um, or your kidneys, per se. And so what you do is, um, um, traditionally, what you would do is you take a hot a heat source, usually it was a hot water bottle or maybe even a, a heating pad, the, the old kind, the ones that use the... Um, uh, like the copper coils, the normal kind that you get at maybe a Walgreens or a CVS, you would use that and you put the um, castor pack on the on the uh, over the organ area, and then you put that heat source on top for approximately 15 minutes or so. And what we discovered was, rather than using that hot water bottle or that tactile heat, if you substitute a far infrared heat pad, and they come in different sizes, and we can kind of touch on that a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, my favorite size for organ cleansing is a pad that we call the mini pad, and that one is um, eight inches by ten inches. So it's a perfect personal size. It'll it's designed to to help you with uh, joint pain like a knee and ankle and elbow, shoulder and so forth. Um, or uh, you can put it on your tummy if you're having your cramps once a month. It'll it'll suppress um, the pain from the cramp and it'll also um, improve the circulation so it makes the blood flow much more even and, and uh, better. Um, but for organ cleansing, what the infrared frequency does is it sort of reclimatizes the tissues. It makes them more soft, more absorbent. So they help, the, of course, for the detox aspect and also for nutritional um, uh, upload and uh, nutritional absorption. It's really fantastic, too. So, so what you do is you take this... Um, this personal size mini pad, 
and you place it right over the organ area for approximately five to eight minutes. Warm up that area, climatize that area, get that get that detox already starting to go up through that bioresonance uh, uh, factor that we talked about, and then. Um, then you take the, uh, usually it's an organic felt or like a cheesecloth, about a tablespoon of the organic castor oil, um, put it in the center of that little cheesecloth area, and then you pack or you put that, that, um, that um, felt right over the um, organ, and then you put a, usually a paper towel, um, uh, you can put a cellophane that's not BPA or any kind of, with any kind of, um, uh, toxin uh, side effect to it over just to cover over it, and then you put the the healing pad on top of that that um, that caster pack for at a at a what I, we call a medium heat, which would be a three, four, or five, um, approximately 115 degrees Fahrenheit temperature for about 15 minutes. That's all it is, and you get the most amazing uh, organ detox. Um, Generally, a toxic organ may need between two and four treatments. You don't want to do the treatment um, from uh, every day. You want to at least space one day in between because you need the body to rest. You need the body to um, release those toxins. You need the body to right. recover a little bit from the increased toxic load and get the organ jump-started and um, acting you know, more efficiently. But it is a, a favorite protocol. It's an easy thing for all of us to do at home. It's not very expensive to do, and you get amazing, amazing uh, detox and amazing, great health results. Right, and I know that uh, on this, uh, with that, not only with that mini pad, even if you had to do work or anything, that belt would probably be able to be used too, couldn't it? Cause I, oh yeah. I think- there- well, we make a few different belts. One belt is one that plugs in, and that is, um, we call that the sauna belt because it's sort of a complement to the uh, to the per- personal portable sauna. It's designed to be worn around your midsection, mostly to break up a lot of that um, extra pounds and extra fat that we carry around mm-hmm. our midsection, mm-hmm. many of us. Uh, and so, the, as we mentioned earlier, it does break up that bond. It does shrink the fat molecule, so it can help to reduce cellulite and um, extra fat accumulations in various different pockets in the body. And, of course, the other application in the uh, belt that we have is a portable version. Um, that's really one of my favorite products. Uh, it has, it's a very lightweight. It weighs less than um, 8 ounces. Um, it's a flexible um, material. It has a little pocket inside, so it, you can keep your change or um, your keys to the house or the car. Um, it uses uh, infrared material that we developed, so there's a there's a um, um, a uh, formulation that we discovered that we call Therafusion, where we take infrared bioceramics, so it's sort of a powder, and we actually impregnate a uh, thread with that material, and then we we weave the material into various different um, applications. One is in this um, portable belt, and then we, we actually pepper that um, material with natural tourmaline stone, so they look like kind of like Dippin' Dots. It's very it's a really mm-hmm. cool product. Um, so we have the tourmaline to generate the negative ions, uh, carry that to the body. It's They're uh, mounted on this infrared material that also helps the body uh, do everything infrared does. And then there's a lithium ion battery uh, that's in this, um, that heats up the element that's in the product. So you've got three different kinds of technology all working for you. Really fantastic. Very lightweight. For the active person, the golfer that's out there, they can throw this belt on, um, warm up their lower lumbar area, their back, and um, that makes their opens up their hips and their joints and makes it much easier for uh, for them to get a swing. And um, we have many golfers that call up and they say ever since they've been using the healing belt, they've improved their golf game by one or two strokes. I'm not quite sure what that's worth. And uh, we haven't recruited Tiger Woods yet to, to try it out, but, mm-hmm. <laughs> but mm-hmm. we get some really great discussions. And that is a great 
um, um, product to use with the caster packing because it is portable. If you don't have the uh, luxury of being near a plug or you're taking it to work with you or you're on the go, you can certainly uh, integrate this technology when you're doing any of these uh, protocols that we'll talk more about. Right, and uh, I, I I read in uh, your uh, applied health science, you know, uh, applications too that uh, when you're in the sauna, you can use uh, what you call a bentonite mud detox. Yeah, that's I was fantastic. very impressed with that. Yeah, the, you probably know that for ben, bentonite clays have been used, um, the silicone clays have been used for many years to help draw out poisons, uh, bee stings, um, snake bites, uh, spider bites, and so forth, you know. Um, but top- topographically, and, and even some of these um, clays and powders can be uh, mixed in to drinks and used um, to, to pull poisons out that you have ingested, you know. Um, but the mud packing application is really terrific. Um, Again, similar type of scenario. You um, you take the bentonite clay. Um, it's a, a very very fine powder. Usually, you mix it with some kind of other detox fluid. Uh, aloe based fluids are really great to draw poisons out, to- toxins out. And you mix um, these uh, the fluid in with the powder creating some kind of a paste of some sort, almost like you make it like a cake mix or a brownie mix. And then you apply the um, this mud packing to the area, maybe after uh, a scarred area, um, somewhere where you've had a bruise or a pain, an organ cleansing. Um, and then you allow the, uh, again, you climatize the, um, the area with the infrared at a low temperature, uh, 3, 4, or 5, for a few minutes somewhere between five to eight minutes. Then you apply the mud pack, um, allow the mud to to, uh, more or less air dry um, initially for a couple of minutes, and then you can put a paper towel or something to cover it up, put the uh, infrared application on top of that, 15, 20 minutes at a um, relatively moderate heat, that 3, 4, or 5, which is equivalent to about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And then there you go. You'll be drawing out those poisons, actively helping the body to detox. And uh, we've gotten uh, amazing comments and, re- and um, discussions from customers that have used these applications to help their bodies jumpstart back to health. Right. And I know that a bentonite clay is ideal in pulling out metals and, as you said, uh, other toxins, even the venoms. I've seen it with... Uh, the use with um, brown recluse spider venom and because in the fangs it's got uh, pseudomonas and it uh, can create gangrene situations. It's uh, very bad. <laughs> that that bite, uh, snake uh, yeah, those, uh, bites. The brown recluses are, I'm here in Florida, and they're very common here. So we hear about them um, and some of the harmful effects and how quickly they can, your body, you know, they can infiltrate your body and cause uh, tissues to to necrot and so forth. It's not not great. Um, so you have to act really fast. But these are, you know, great um, great methods, both the castor oil and the bentonite, to have, you know, in your daily arsenal um, with to treat yourselves, your loved ones, your family, and you know, to help get rid of the poisons, the microtoxins that the body stores sometimes from the foods, sometimes from the bacteria, the neurotoxins that a lot of these um, viruses and bacteria give off in their daily, uh, in their lifespan or in the process when you're taking either antibiotics or using natural um, uh, types of uh, concoctions to try to help um, get rid of uh, these bacteria. They will let go of these microtoxins and these neurotoxins again um, many of them are stored in the soft tissues. Uh, this infrared frequency is just the, a godsend, uh, great, great way to help the body pull pull these poisons out. Right, and if you're taking any kind of supplement, as we stated earlier in, in the first, uh, uh, excuse me, the first show, uh, or even medications, it will enhance its bioavailability. In other words, if you're supposed to take two pills, you may only need one pill because it's allowing it to get into um, the body uh, better. 
Now, I also put, I had our uh, program director put specifically with this show some of my uh, recipes that I've used over the years, uh, like my Dr. Hildy Cellular Tonic. It builds striated muscles and uh, Ganawaki uh, wrestling team in Mohawk territory on the Canadian side. Just love it. They've won all the time using that. And uh, monkey juice and several other recipes. But what I want to share is that these recipes are ideal, too, if you have your, your home sauna or, or those types of applications or being treated and using it because it will allow it to go deeper into the body and uh, have uh, its natural benefits uh, from those recipes. Right. Well, one side, one side is the infrared frequency makes the, the tissues more absorbent, and the other side, because of the vasodilation, we're moving more of the body fluid, more of the blood around, so it's giving the organs, the tissues, a better chance to, to, to pull these um, well-valued nutritions into the body, you know, so right. you can catch it on both sides. Right. And um, in reference to sauna, uh, what do you recommend uh, for, like, the temperatures to keep it in? Because I know I recommend that they they should take, I call it an an hour of uh, radiant heat infrared uh, based on, you know, 20 minutes to a half hour, see how you open up and then expand, especially in the beginning. And, you know, let's spend some few minutes on this one because this is mm-hmm. a great, it's a, one of my favorite products that we've made. Um, we basically, uh, infrared sauna, um, they've done a whole bunch of studies. First off, they they measured a, a drop of sweat from a, an individual, same individual, that went into an infrared sauna, a hot uh, hot rock sauna, like a Swedish sauna, and a steam room. And what they discovered when they measured that drop of sweat was that there's 85% more toxin in the in the drop of sweat that came from the infrared sauna. So that is just an amazing number um, in in terms of uh, how deep and and what kinds of uh, poisons the um, the uh, infrared technology can pull from the body. Um, Therasage has developed two different formats. Uh, one is a wooden sauna. It's a natural wooden sauna that's made from aspen wood. It's never mm-hmm. been treated with many of the harsh chemicals and pesticides that many of the other imported saunas um have, uh, have and that's kind of a tricky thing because you can shop on the internet to try to get a better price um, on many of these products, but in particular with the wooden saunas, you can make a big mistake because um, if a, any woods that are imported into the U.S. by law they have to be treated with chemicals, and most of the saunas that you see on the internet are ones that are imported, so you get a, a fairly nice unit. It's certainly good looking, and it has um, many of the elements that is important for help the body to help the body detox, but as your body is letting go of its poison, guess what you're breathing in? Some of these really harmful DDTs and chemicals that our government um, requires that these woods are treated with, so that the U.S. Uh, community here, um, our country, doesn't get um, infiltrated with bacteria or many of the insects that are, that are. Um, generic to these foreign countries that that uh, these products some of these products come from right and they are so, also methyl bromide meaning if it's like airlifted you know into our country mm-hmm. any of the fruits any of the equipment or whatever that container or that cargo is like put in a room and steamed with methyl bromide too wow which is toxic so, meaning yeah, I, I agree with you yes yeah, so so our wooden sauna is made here in the U.S. in our factory that's located in Iowa. The um, the craftsmen that make the wood saunas are are Amish, and if you know a little bit about that that whole culture, they pride themselves on being master wood craftsmen. Um, the walls are thicker. It's a great great product, um, but it takes up a little bit of real estate. It's you have to have a designated area in your house. Um, where you want to have that uh, that uh, sauna box um, to be positioned, and also they can become a little bit expensive for the pocketbook. So not everybody can afford that, but but trust me when I say this, particularly with the 
um, the environmental conditions and the how, how, how important it is for us to do something every single day incrementally to help us detox. Um, if you can't afford uh, the wooden saunas or you, can't, you don't have the right space because many times, uh, you know, you could live in a million-dollar apartment on Park Avenue in New York City, and it's 700 square feet. You've got a great view of Central Park, but you've got no room. But yet you still need this infrared technology in order for you to stay healthy. So what we did was we developed an um, application that is a soft sauna, soft cabin. Um, it's much, much less expensive than the wooden ones, uh, as much as uh, 30 to 40 percent less, at sometimes even 50 percent less. Uh, and, and it's a soft cabin. It's, it's a personal sauna for a single person. It weighs all of 22 pounds um, and uh, sets up in virtually a minute. You can store it under your bed. Uh, you can put it in a closet. It uses less electricity than about a third of what a hair blower uh, uses. It's truly amazing like that. Uh, and it comes with a carrying case. So if you are on the go or if you're moving from maybe if you're visiting a friend and you want to bring it or if maybe even if you're a therapist, um, like a massage therapist love them because they can bring their massage table in and they can bring their portable sauna in and in virtually a minute or two they can set up a complete therapeutic environment in your, in your home uh, for detox and for massage. It's fantastic. So, um, so the sauna comes with a, uh, a portable seat that will accommodate about 225 pounds um, and we've had uh, guests that have used them that have been as, as big as almost six feet, seven inches. So it, it, it's an oversized cabin, uh, very lightweight, um, <clears throat> easy to access. And in terms of um, how to use it, uh, the sauna by itself, it comes with an infrared foot pad, uh, four panels that are on the inside, um, uh, that basically bathe your body in infrared frequency. There's a zip-out terry cloth collar that comes with the unit and an extra one so you can be washing one while you're using one. That's really fantastic. Um, there's two little zippers that you can bring your hands through so you can read a magazine, you can work with your electronic devices, your iPad or your smartphones. Um, you set it up in your living room or in your bedroom so you're not, you don't have a sense of claustrophobia because your head is outside. By the way, that's an important thing to mention because mm. many of the naturopaths, they like the idea that your head is outside the cabin because your brain is much more sensitive to heat than your body is. And when you're treating um, a chronic condition, Dr. Hilde, mm -hmm. uh, it's really important that we raise that core temperature up because when we get that core, your core above 102, some magnificent things happen. Your, your, um, your natural lymphocytes are uh, eight to about 800 times more active above 102. Um, Bacteria and viruses start to die off above 102. Um, they, some of the new cancer research suggests that many cancers can't live above 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so if we can raise your body core up while keeping your head outside, so that you can stay in the sauna for a longer period of time. Wow, isn't that fantastic in terms of an application? Really, really great. Um, so the portable sauna is great because it's soft, it's portable, it's um, uh, lightweight, it's less expensive, sets up in a few minutes. Uh, if you're not, if you're just looking for a general detox, we look for uh, normal temperatures of about 100 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit for about a 30-minute session is a perfect, perfect um, way to work it into your daily regimen. Uh, if you use the sauna uh, in the morning after that initial acclimation period, depending on how toxic we are because everybody's toxic levels are a little different, on, depending on what we eat and the areas of the country that we live in. Um, so, so after that initial period when the body starts to detox a little bit, then if you use the sauna in the morning, you're going to feel amazingly more energized through the day. You get your blood moving, your circulation going, uh, you feel more limber, 
because you're warming up your all of your connective tissues, your leg- ligaments, your tendons. You become more supple. Uh, if you use the sauna in the evening, approximately two hours before bedtime, you'll have the best sleep that you've had almost in years. We hear that time and time again. It's amazing mm-hmm. to help uh, for for to help you get a restful sleep at night. Right. And it it is the most soundful, and uh, the clearer the mind, you have the most beautiful dreams in color, it's, at least from uh, my experience. I love that. I love that. When I dream in color, I always write it down with, if I remember the next day. For me, when I use the sauna at night, I laugh at myself because when I invariably I wake up the next morning and my pillow is filled with some drool that came off came through my mouth. So I, I always laugh and I say to my wife, I'm, I had another, another night, another restful sleep at night. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you would agree, and many of the, um, the uh, um, very notable uh, nutritionists in the country, if they had a choice of better nutrition or a better night's sleep, they would pick up better night's sleep time and time again because of all the regenerative uh, processes that happen while we're sleeping at night. Right, and I want to bring out two other products, uh, and also, audience, uh, if you uh, hear this, uh, please feel free to call in. Our phone number is uh, 602-753-1636, because we will be fielding questions to uh, uh, Robbie and myself, uh, so we can answer some of your specific questions if you should have it on the second hour. But uh, you also make two other products. Uh, one is the uh, Therafusion, um, water, I'm going to call it the water pitcher, and also the bandages. How, because you were speaking earlier, and I know what I did in my work with uh, far infrared and in, in identifying the, the water molecules, the alignment and everything uh, with them early on with Dr. Schulte, the the thing is that with the um, water pitcher, uh, does that generate um, infrared, or is it used as a filter system? I'm not that familiar with it, so I apologize. Yeah, the, the, this is our newest application. Um, they're not on the market yet, but soon to be. We're in production right now. Um, and basically, um, when you take the infrared uh, frequencies, um, it's the near frequency, 0.4 nanometers of infrared frequency, uh, and you pass even just regular tap water, um, uh, the frequency through tap water, it will reorganize the um, the structure of that water and make it essentially healthier for the body. So when we discovered um, research in this area um, about six months ago, we decided to um, develop um, um, resources, put our energies into developing a format of a water filter that's pretty common um, some of them are like the Brita. One application is the like the Brita filter, that it's actually a pitcher that has a, a little cartridge that you just um, uh, put, um, place into the center of the little pitcher, and mm-hmm. then you can run that under the tap water, and then that pitcher actually will go into the refrigerator or so if you like your water cool. Um, and as the water is coming through that filter, of course. It has all the other common things that you know. Uh, takes out the chlorines and the fluorides and many of the particles and so forth to make the water uh, look clean and taste very good and fresh. Um, but also, what it does. See, most filters do what they say they do. They filter. They take things out. But what we decided to do was start to put some things back in. And one of the things that we're putting back in is this infrared frequency that's helping the water be more structured healthier for the body, and of course when you drink um, what we're calling it now thera water, uh, this infrared influence water, it actually will help the body hydrate, uh, improve that cellu- cellular communication that we touched on a little earlier. Right. We're very excited about this product. We're doing some studies right now. Um, we're growing organic plants and using tap water versus this water, and so far in the last six weeks, the organic um, basil that we're growing the plants that we're feeding with the thera water are actually growing at a, about a 20 to 25 percent greater um, rate. They're flourishing. They're flowering earlier. Uh, it's pretty amazing to watch nature, uh, you know, at, at its best. 
And then we're also um, doing a test where we're growing um, natural spirulina, uh, which is a, a form of algae that is a superfood. And we're, we're testing the normal uh, waters that we use to grow these, the spirulina. And then we're using the thera water, again, to see if the harvest comes in stronger, if the components um, of the spirulina are healthier, if the cells are a little bit bigger, if the, if the gestation period is a little faster, whatever it is that affects the, um, these, um, these, um, these superfoods um, to help the body nourish uh, on that level. Right, and I want to expand on that on our second hour, so hang with us, audience, and please send in your questions by calling in, okay? You've been listening to the Dr. Hilde Show on the One Cell, One Life radio network. For the other half of today's show, or to view all of our shows archived for your media free download, please visit OneCellOneLifeRadio.wordpress.com. This is Mark the Arcturian speaking for the Dr. Hilty Show, the One Cell, One Life Radio production. 